Welcome miniature enthusiasts to the world where every detail counts and every element adds an overall magnificence to your creation. Today we delve into the wonders of cork, a material that will elevate your miniatures bases to a whole new level, realism and intricacy. Cork has been a trusted ally of the miniature hobbyists for years. Provided it's a solid foundation for masterpieces, but did you know that there are various different types of cork that can enhance your miniature bases in different ways? From fine graded to chunky, smooth to texture, each cork type has its own unique charm and purpose. Join us as we explore the different types of cork and how to use them to achieve various effects in your miniature bases. From creating rocky terrain and simulating broken pavement, the possibilities are endless with this versatile material. So grab your tools and let's embark on a journey of creativity and imagination as we discover the art of cork basing with miniatures. For something that seems so simple, just a simple wine cork or any other various ways that you can get it, uh, mostly I get mine from wine corks. Um, I have uh, quite a collection from over time that uh, I have, but I also, you can buy just whole spools of nice thin cork. As you can see, I've got some broken off edges, some nice straight lines that I've used for various things. Um, so let's go over some examples of what you can do with that. So what we can do is we can take our cork and you can do a multiple two of things. Uh, first thing I recommend is if you do some kind of chop, uh, however you want to do that. I actually literally just threw a couple pieces of cork into a blender and got these nice chunks uh, and you want to keep everything in between. Uh, even down to this small grated little teensy tiny stuff. Every single one of these you can use for different bits and whatnot or pieces of a rubble to lava flows. And we'll get further into that. So I want to show you some examples of some of these medium pieces that you can use. Uh, one of my completed pieces is this little guy right here. Let me get him on here, get you a little closer. Um, a nice little gargoyle. Uh, gargoyle actually uh, came on a small little base for like any other miniature um, but I wanted to get that like where it looked like he's kind of sitting on some rubble so this entire base and you can see the nice round flat edge there it was about the same size for the, the small base I put went on there real nice and it was really easy to dry brush him it was just a gargoyle it was stone stone on stone too easy right uh, but like I said this entire base is made out of cork. So just cork, super glued it all together, and primed it, and bam, here we go, finished product, not bad. I'd like to continue to show you some more examples. I have some current work and projects um, that I was kind of actually hanging out to do before I did this video. This stone giant right here, I uh, wanted to make it look like he was coming out of a cave so that all his light is coming from the front. Um, it's not really a top-down light with this guy for this current work in progress. But you can see these two stalagmites. I'm not sure if that's the correct one. Stalagmite, stalactite. I don't ever remember which one's which. But I used cork to actually... I, I think I just cut it in half. And then this is just two full pieces of cork. Uh, and then I just dripped some regular glue on top of it to get like these little globules to make it look like the stalactites um, were running down like they do in caves. A better example to show for the the tiny little bits is this fire giant that I'm standing by for, just like I said. So this is actually his base right here. Um, but so my goal is to make it look like he's sitting around like a lava pool or something. So this is actually a combination of small rocks. So all this is for my basing that I've done on this is a mix between my small pieces of cork and these granules right here. Great, great basing material also. But I, my goal is to kind of make it look like he's sitting, like the light is coming up from underneath him. It's gonna be interesting. It's probably gonna be the, it's gonna be one of the first ones that I work with with reverse lighting. So another completed project that I have that I'm super proud of is this buggy boy right here so i originally had him on a like a normal base that i just did up but then i actually changed it 
uh, to make it look like he's busting out of the ground. So all these large chunks that you see that are coming up are actually cork pieces that I glued to the edges, painted with the same mud that I did before. Once that dried, I just put on some grass to make it just look like it was busting through the grass. This one came out, this is probably actually one of my favorite dry brushings I've ever done. I think it gave it another dimension, like that dimension that is just coming out of the ground and I absolutely, absolutely love this guy. So I wanna show you two other methods of using cork and this one is gonna be that flat roll of cork. Um, so you just break off the chunk, corner, whatever you wanna do and then you get your base that you're gonna use and then you, just like I said, you tear off some pieces. I already got some pre-cut off pieces. So you just super glue that bad boy down and then super glue the bad boy to the bad boy if you wanna add some additional elevation or if it'd be relevant, but it will give you a nice layered texture. Uh, they do make uh, a, other thicknesses, but if you wanted something to look like it was like looking off of a cliff edge or anything like that, this could be a really unique use of this cork board. You'll also see this a lot of times used to make like, it gives you a nice flat texture. It's almost perfect for like asphalt. So if you like paint it black and then give it some lines or whatever you wanna do to give it like a, a street look. Um, if you're more into uh, Warhammer or anything like that, if I had this instead of a, a guy on there, it would look pretty awesome. I don't think I have any better examples that would uh, sit that are currently just sitting on my desk. Um, or you could, instead of using this, you could just put on, I got nobody with no legs. Here we go. You could just slap a mini even on that, even with a standard base, or you can chop the base off. And it just gives you a much larger area. I know this is obviously not the disc for this guy, but it'd work. It looked cool. My other method that I like to use these for, and especially when you got these nice corner pieces, I always try to use these edge lines for making straight line rubble. So more or less uh, bricks. I have a whole little container just full of bricks. So I just use my X-Acto knife. I, use, uh, I have a metal ruler and then I just cut down nice even strips. The cutting this down to making basically just these tiny bricks. Once these are glued and primed, they look just like rubble on a base. Got a Warhammer guy here for you. So like you see he's stepping on this rock. If you didn't want to really elevate him or anything like that, but you wanted to add some dimension to this to make it look like that's not just plain rubble, we could throw some bricks on there and whatnot and kind of give it that look like we're looking at He's more and less looking at some, it's gonna fall off. There we go, good catch. Uh, some additional rubble that looks like some kind of brick. And again, all I did was use like a, a hard ruler, cut strips out of our straight line thin cork board. I don't really recommend going any smaller than these tiny little guys. Um, if you want to go smaller, you can see the color difference probably, you can probably see the color difference in these two and all or not. <laughs> the only color difference is, is this more orangish reddish cork board versus the actual cork. So this is actually made out of cork. And this is, this one is actually, and these are made out of this flat cork. And the only reason I do that for the smaller ones is that this is just more compressed. Um, this is rather brittle, but that actually gives you that tear effect when you're ripping it up. So it gets nice. And the bonus is, is that as you're ripping this up or you, you have extra from your wine cork, you just throw it in your little bits and bots. And you can see I got some larger chunks of cork in there and there's like a whole quarter piece of cork right there. And then you get it all down even to the little granules and it's an amazing basing material. Again, that's how what I did with a fire giant. So I'd like to show you one more thing um, that is cork related and that is to make your own paint handle out of cork. So I don't recommend the wine corks for this. This is actually a champagne cork 
Um, that just got a, a ton of poster putty on the top and then a quarter on the bottom just to make it nice and flat. And as you can see, I've primed on it for quite some time. Because of the flat quarter, it sits quite nicely on any kind of surface and it gives it a little bit of weight. Um, and it quite perfectly just fits in that like one little nook of your finger, depending on your hand size. I am actually quite tall, so it fits right there quite perfectly. And you can sit there and paint your mini. You throw a mini on here real quick. My test mini. And you can paint wherever you're, you're painting quite easy and controlled. But that's why I like my paint handle that I've upgraded to that I've made myself. And the same thing, you can get in there. Paint handle is definitely recommended. If you'd like to know more about how to make that paint handle, I do have a video on that and I'll pin that right here. And there you have it, fellow miniature painters. We've come to the end of our journey through the possibilities of cork basing with miniatures. I hope you've been inspired by the possibilities that this versatile material can bring to your miniature bases. Remember, every detail counts and every element adds an overall magnificence of your creation. With cork as your ally, you can take your miniature basing to a whole new level. With cork as your ally, you can take your miniature bases to a whole new level of realism. So go forth, experiment with different type. So go forth and experiment with different types of cork from fine graded to chunky smooth to texture and unlock the endless possibilities of this incredible material. Let your creativity and your imagination soar as you create miniature masterpieces that are sure to impress. Thank you for joining us today and I'll see you next time. Keep creating. So go forth and experiment with different types of fork. Fork. I said fork.